Hello, YouTube! One year ago, just before last Christmas, <laughs> quite some time ago, relatively speaking, I got this Masterpiece Sky War from Argos for 20 quid. And I said in the new year, I would do a review of it. <laughs> and I quite blatantly didn't. <laughs> No. But anyway, since I'm going through and I need to put this guy into robot mode to go in his new spot in my collection, I figured I may as well do a review now. Uh, masterpiece figures, they are supposed to be the be all and end all of Generation 1 figures. And have you guys seen that Rodimus? Now there, there is a sexy lump of plastic. Mm, very definitely going to get the Hasbro version. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But yes. I mean, here we can see beautiful F-15 fighter jets. Skywarp always did have the best colour scheme of the Seekers. Black and silver. And I said I wouldn't do this in a review, but no. I've reversed back. There. Piffle. Pipal. These jets. People, people don't always like these jets, but this is a very nice, very streamlined jet. You know, colours. It all meshes together well. It has. It holds together excellently, and it is possible to mount all his weapons on him, giving him uber fire power of bad. And yes. He's a masterpiece, so he does all the usual features. Has a display stand. Ooh. You know, masterpiece figures, they can be expensive. I, I, I picked up the Optimus Prime for the full 50 quid. But you know, this, this was before we knew Hasbro would lower the prices on them. I wouldn't pay full price for these guys, but you can get them for like 30, 40 quid. Ooh, ooh definitely worth it. Oh yes, especially since especially 20 quid. You must get Skywarp 20 quid if you can. He is abs. I mean, just look at him. He is absolutely gorgeous. A nice gloss black paint. Holds together, extremely well streamlined. Has all the little features that you would expect from a a, a jet model jet, and he is just absolutely beautiful. You know, I cannot find a fault with this. Okay, so he has visible hands, but you know what? It tucks in nicely. You can't tell. You can't tell. And his wing, his, his symbols are on the nice way around. So when he's in robot mode, his symbols are facing the right way up. I love that they put them on that way round, the way they should be. But anyway, there he is. Very nice figure. Can't find anything wrong with him. He comes with a little uh, Dr. Archerville, which is gang molded in with all these seekers, but you know, eh, it's unpainted. The one thing is, Skywarp doesn't have quite as many much detailing as the original masterpiece Starstream. For example, he has no motto on the side, no do not step here signs. But all in all, he is a beautiful rendition of an F-15 jet in awesome colours. And his robot mode is just as Hexa. <laughs> and here is Robot Mode. <laughs> as you can see, he is just absolutely beautiful. Many people say they have trouble standing him up, and I can see why with these funny legs, but you just have to angle his nozzles right, his heel nozzles, angle them right, and he will not stand. Well, wait, hang on. He will. He's done. 
Wait, wait, there you go, he's going over, he's going over. But I mean, he's got all his massive amounts of articulation. No, I said I wasn't going to do reviews like that. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry for betraying your trust so quickly. But I mean, Skywarp. In the cartoon, Skywarp never really had a whole lot of characterization. I mean, he's known as a prankster. He's known as someone who likes to push people downstairs. No idea where that came from. But, say what you will, Skywarp does have the best colour scheme of the Seekers. And I'm including the original Takara Starscream in that. Now, he, he, this is a Hasbro version, so he doesn't have as much paint details as the Masterpiece one, like the white stripes on his shoulders are missing, and he has his, he is a straight repaint of Starscream, whereas you can't see that, can you? Whereas the, can you see that? No. Whereas the original uh, Skywarp had some constipated face, Hasbro decided this guy is better suited with the smirk. So they gave him Starscream's trademark smirk. And you know what? It works. It works. It does work with him. Now, he, he, there are parts of his art. He isn't the best in terms of articulation, especially in the leg area. You know, you are a little limited. I mean, you, you can get a couple of nice poses out of him, but you are you are limited, and his fingers, these three are joined together, which does also limit things, and, oh no, you can't make him give people the bird! Shucks. Why is it, whenever you get articulated fingers in something, everyone always has them flipping people off? Why is that? And yeah, these things... What do you do with these things? I don't know. You can have them up like that and he looks like a dill. You can have them down like that and they don't look like he's got legs properly. Or, you, you know, he was saying, the, the designer was saying he wanted to go for a perfect jet mode. And because of that, we don't have a 100% sc a screen accurate robot mode because of these things. Originally, in the original prototype, these were connected to his feet. And you know what? And they look fine. They look perfectly fine. And there is a mod where you can slice them off. And, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not hacking up a masterpiece figure. No, 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 no. But anyway, in conclusion, we have the masterpiece Skywarp. An absolutely fantastic figure for 20 quid, you know, that's cheaper than a Voyager figure. That is cheaper than a modern Voyager. Just get it. He, he, he can feel a little flimsy at first transforming him when you don't know what you're doing, but once you get the hang of it, he is an absolutely beautiful thing. And yes, his display stand can hover him in robot mode so you can have him hovering and shooting and pushing and laughing and unfortunately the toy can't walk that's the only downside and the limited leg articulation but other than that I mean fantastic silhouette fantastic sculpting there's a lot of detailing on it that isn't picked out because of the paint but I mean that silver. That, this, the silver on his chest. Okay, this is turning a little erotic now. I need to stop.